in theaters <laughs> September 15th, American Assassin, and it's a pleasure to have the film star Dylan O'Brien with us. Michael Keaton is On here. the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Keaton's in it too. Yeah. Good to have you with us, man. Thanks, man. Great to be uh, here, dude. You know, we, we've had you on the show previously, but through the magic of TV. Yeah, I know. It's good to have you here yeah, in yeah. person. Yeah. got to be excited about this film. We've seen it advertised. I mean, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's cool. We don't have to talk about the film, though. Let's no, talk about let's baseball. Talk about a little bit no, about plug my film. Don't worry training. about it. Right, well, I want to know what went into this. this um, is... It was a lot. It was great. I mean, I, I loved it. Um, you know, it was, uh, yeah, a lot of training went into it, a lot of fight training. Uh, uh, Keaton's awesome. You know, he's everything you'd want him to be. He's the coolest dude. Really down to earth, really cool. Um, oh look, there it is. You can watch it right now. Yeah, the movie. Don't just just gl don't glaze over fight training. Like, <laughs> so it, this what are is you doing? this is intense uh, stuff, man. Because yeah. you, you got you know your last film. Yeah. You had some physical problems. Yeah, like, you were yeah, hurt yeah. Pretty bad. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So was, did you have to be bad. talked into doing another action adventure movie, or did you were like, hey, how about a nice romantic comedy? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what my mom wanted. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, no, you know, it was uh, it was definitely uh, it was definitely a tough thing to go to. Uh, it was really quick after it happened, you know. Um, it was a hard recovery. It was really, you know, it was really all summer. It was it was a rough summer, you know, for right. sure. Uh, but uh, ultimately, you know, I just felt like it would be the best thing for me, and um, and it really was, you know. Actually, ended up being, I mean, with the training and everything beforehand, and then the shooting of the film, and it really actually ended up being really helpful for me in, in recovery overall. So it was, uh, it's great, man. When you talk about the mental side of the, the getting back out on yeah, the set, absolutely. right? Absolutely. Right? So that, from a baseball standpoint, it's the same thing. Mental yeah. challenge every day going on the field. It's a grind. Totally, totally. Talk about the mental of just getting back and getting over that. Yeah, I mean, that was, uh, getting over that hump was the biggest part of, I mean, like, you know, I was, I was physically really damaged as well, obviously, and that took healing, but man, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really more about the mental anguish, you know, and uh, yeah, just getting back on the horse, getting back on my feet, you know, mm -hmm. so, so this movie means a lot to me. It really does in my personal life. This will always be something super special to me, and uh, yeah. I read what the filmmakers were looking for when they cast you, and the description was a youthful actor on the verge of becoming a deeper and darker adult. Is that you? Mm -hmm. huh? What? <laughs> Where? Yeah, yeah, you look. Yeah. That's you. That's deep. You're deep and dark. Yeah, on what? the verge. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the verge. We're still waiting. I thought they were just looking for an Andy Chavez fan. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your Mets fandom is well documented. Yeah. We've talked about is it, it is it out the program. There? It's out there. I yeah, mean, man. I think we had a little small part in putting it out there because oh, you're, you you're a New Yorker good. at heart. You live in L.A., but the yeah. Mets are your thing. Were yeah. you ever a Yankee fan as a kid? Or was no, it always... no, no. I mean, like, the 90s Yankees were fun to watch, you know. I mean, I was a huge Derek Jeter, obviously, Paul Neal. Those guys were Tino Martinez. That was a great team, absolutely. Right. But, like, you know, Mets always had my heart. So. Are All right, you so still what do starstruck we do? by what? the Mets? I remember you oh. were here last time and you said, oh, Vince Vaughn, like, that's a big deal. But if I saw David Wright, yeah, yeah. weak in the knees, yeah, yeah. still? Yeah, yeah, I got my D. Wright jersey that I've had Today, since I was a kid. Today, I saw it, right? So we can oh, go your assistant somebody. had it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he also has a hat, old school hat. Makes me feel old, obviously. I signed it. So do you call Tim Tebow up? Yeah, I signed it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> It's uh, for what? In the words of Sandy Alderson, I don't foresee that being a realistic <laughs> okay. situation. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, actually, why not right now? Yeah. Yeah. Here's, this is what we got for you, because you're a Met fan, and I've already wrinkled it and highlighted it, so yeah. it's authentic. Walk us through the Mets highlight yesterday. Mets Again? Yeah. I'm Would joking. You mind this doing is great. It? I missed the can game because I was can flying you do the yesterday. highlight? Here it is. Let's roll, roll oh, wait, do the I have like, uh, Do I have, like, a script? You want me yeah, to that's script? it. Start That's right it. there. Bang. Do Phillies Mets last sinister. night. Oh, so this is how you do it. This is it right here. This is the cheat sheet. Oh, bottom wow. of the third. All right, Mets, Phillies. We got bottom third, Jose Reyes. It's one nothing Mets. And he puts that one out the right center field, that a baby. And uh, what do I, he almost right. Oh, wow, oh, yeah, I do have a script. Yeah, 2 nothing Mets. Two batters later, man on for Cerebral Cabrera. He homers to the right center. That's his 12th of the year. It's a 4 nothing Mets lead. And we got bottom of the fourth now. 9 nothing Mets. Nimmo! The smiley man. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You're welcome, Brandon. Sings to left. Reese Hoskins throwing out Smith. At the, oh, yeah, baby! You've already called more know. action than Paul Severino. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> oh. It's a six run inning for the Mets, and they go up 10 0. And uh, we got another page here. How about this, man? Here's our guy. Right. Dude's a beast. Oh. He'll be here later this morning, America. Oh, no way, really? Yeah, we just showed it flying <laughs> out. Oh, oh, man, there's the new there. there. the the player, Donald O'Brien, closing it out. <laughs> Well, you guys did that again. We so need you're to get you to meet Reese Hoskins. Yeah, I gotta meet. Are Reese. they gonna overlap? I gotta show him. Both, you throw both my fantasy teams. I feel like I know him. <laughs> you, throwing, you, you throwing us out tonight? Yeah, yeah. Give Are me. you throwing? Are you nervous? Yeah, yeah. We you talked know, about it earlier. You're yeah, like, you know, 
you know what? I was, uh, I, I was, I went through a lot of nerves with this. I mean, yeah. I almost canceled the damn thing. But then I was like, I can't do that. You know, it's a, especially what you're saying too. Baseball's all about the mental, and uh, I got to get out there. I got to hug it for my team. It's Wait. gonna be mean. It's gonna mean a lot to me ultimately. So, got to do the rubber, it. or I got to tell the rubber. Yeah. Give him pointers. Yeah. Give him pointers. I was gonna pointers. throw. I was gonna do. Just don't bounce it. And don't do what 50 did and don't do what the mayor of Cincinnati did. No, I saw you got no. If you don't have the same that, go peep it. I'm just trying to decide. Maybe I'm going to do a little slider, a little change or something. So what? Come on. Play GM. What do we do? What do we do? Um, do we trust that all these guys are going to come back healthy next year? Uh, you can't at this point, no. But, yeah. Um, you know, yeah, we're in a tough spot. It's so funny. I feel like last time I was talking to you guys, I was like on cloud nine. Right. Charles right. Yeah. the World Series. Yep. You know? um, different situation now. Um, but I mean, you know, we got exciting stuff going on. You know, I'm excited. To, I think Dom and Ahmed are really talented. I'm excited for those guys. You know, we got a lot of. I love that Nimmo's getting a chance to play every day. I love watching right. that dude. Yeah. Um, Conforto comes back. That next was heartbreaking. Year. I thought, hope, man. I he think it's does. Be a long recovery. Syndergaard comes back next year. Yeah, he'll be yeah. back. Hey, Matt's we'll have gets our guys. it straightened out. I yeah. can't believe it's going to get any worse. David I mean, Wright yeah. played third base at. Was it? We had a hard to heart about that know, before man. we came yeah, out. Yeah, we were talking about that too. I was asking. I was like, Have you heard from him? Do you talk to? We talk, but like, I mean, do you? In your mind, do you think he is time to retire? I don't know, man. I mean, I mean it's I, tough. I want like, to just as a Met him. fan and you see him going through the struggles and all of a sudden it's like I know, I know. rotator shelf. No, I grew up, right? We came up together. Yeah. I, it, it's hard to have a conversation and go, hey, you should retire. Yeah, you made him uh, carry around the uh, the pink bag, right? Yeah, now. absolutely. Dylan, you know, Cliff's Mets rookie, days. I make him do it. Did, I don't, we didn't have this, uh, this footage worked out beforehand, but did you ever see the footage of Cliff and Mike Cameron in the oh, uh, bling room this is back at Shea Stadium? In the <laughs> bling room? As, yeah, I don't know, exactly. I don't know. Let me see. As a as a Mets fan, you'll like it. But I have other stuff to wait, show wait, you wait, first. Wait, 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 wait. We have certain, <laughs> we have certain characters on this show that we like to go to a lot. I know you've seen our show a couple times. Yeah. Would any of these characters have worked in American Assassin? And let's right. start with <laughs> Marlon's kid. Would there oh, be <laughs> any chance he could have found like a yes. walk-on role? <laughs> Yes. Like, like oh, oh, you sent him in first. CIA training gone bad. In, you oh send my him Marlin. God. He's 40 now. <laughs> He's not. He's 40 and in prison. That was last year. What about the Cincinnati flipper? Oh, uh, I didn't even see this. Would there have been a role for him? Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, he's in there. I love his girlfriend, too. His yeah, wife, like, whatever yeah. that. Well, she's definitely, yeah, they're blocking, they're blocking out the finger, but she's definitely saying some she's pretty. She's saying the stuff, right? Yeah, there's, there's some curses <laughs> going on there couple that are pretty visible. <laughs> what about, uh, what about Smolinski's dad? Is there a role for him? Because he looks like he could walk into any kind of an oh action Oh, my God, film. what a character. Right? Jacked. <laughs> He was like, if you strike out, you ain't even. He's what is she looking at on the iPad? Yeah, what is that iPad right She's there? Score. She, she was video. What about Marcus Stroman's dad? Dude, that is what? a joke. Who is that? <laughs> what? That's yeah. Stroman's dad? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see that one. Well, Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are he screaming for an action film? <laughs> yeah. How about Napkin Killer? 100%. <laughs> no oh, he way. got the what gold front? This? Napkin Killer's girl. Uh, right out of the clubs. Hey. I saw her at 1-0. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, uh, one of our I'm new going. favorites, um, Cub fan from Schomburg, Illinois. Very aggressive I haircut. I know. This guy's got to call in. And he got tough love. Oh, you got to get him on. I have, have to say? understand to why on, is he like, he, maybe he, he's the lead singer of a tribute band. Look, look, at, look at the wife. From the a little bit like Michael Keaton, I'm just saying. I love, the, I love the wife just, uh, you know. <laughs> just yeah. chilling, right? Like, yeah. Free thinking, everything. Came to the game. <laughs>